you're listening to independent tv7 kindly click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel at independent tv7 also don't forget to click the bell icon to get more notification thanks for watching yeah national assembly dsl uh, buari and tells buari uh, that buari name and prosecute uh, lawmaker sponsoring namda kano and uh, igbowo uh, national assembly uh, dsl uh, president mamadu buari uh, you can recall uh, that president mamadu buari uh, in his uh, uh, independent speech he said he's gonna uh, uh, tell us uh, the, the, the the sponsors and the financiers of uh, this uh, namda kano and uh, uh, Sunday who, who uh, agitate us, mm, I know, uh, from his speech. And uh, from that speech, I know it's not from the Buhari's uh, volition or from his own mind to have, uh, you know, poor half or split out uh, such a uh, uh, statement uh, because I don't want to, you know, insult. But notwithstanding, uh, the National Assembly has uh, deemed fit uh, to uh, tell Buhari and tell him Buhari really and uh, attacking him to name and also prosecute uh, those lawmakers he said that are sponsoring in Abekano. And Sunday Bobo, hmm, uh, Buhari had in his speech during the 61st uh, Independence Day anniversary of Nigeria uh, said the government had identified sponsors of the secessionist group and their leaders. Uh, the members of the House of Representatives uh, have asked uh, President Mohamed Buhari to name and prosecute the lawmaker identified as the sponsor of agitators uh, Namdekano and Sunday at TMO, aka Sunday Bowo, in the country. Uh, the lawmakers on Tuesday claimed President Mohamed Buhari uh, made all the lawmakers in the House uh, suspect of crime if the if the alleged sponsor of self-determination agitation uh, agitators rather uh, was not uh, only identified but also also uh, prosecuted. Uh, Buhari had uh, previously said in his speech during the 61st uh, Independence Day anniversary of Nigeria that the government had been able to identify sponsors of the secessionist group and their leaders. He had disclosed that among them is a member of the National Assembly. Uh, the recent arrest of Namde Kanu and uh, Sunday at the uh, Sunday Bo and the ongoing investigations being conducted have revealed starting high profile financiers uh, behind these uh, individuals. We are vigorously uh, pursuing uh, uh, these financiers, including one identified as a serving member of the National Assembly, he had said. Uh, however, rising under matters of privilege after uh, the uh, Tuesday's uh, plenary, uh, the member representing Ethiopia Federal uh, Consistency of Delta State, Ben Rowlands, uh, Ibakba, said that his privilege uh, had been uh, breached by the president's address. According to him, the president in his speech noted that uh, one of us is sponsoring terrorism. Uh, that, that means we are prime suspects. <laughs> he didn't name that person. Uh, they have been calling, for, uh, calling me from all over the world. And my friends have been saying who among you is sponsoring terrorists. All of us are prime suspects. <laughs> well, uh, this word terrorist, I don't really understand. Uh, is Sunday Igbo and Abkano terrorist? I don't know. They are just mere agitate, agitators uh, or self determinants. He then urged the House to prevail on the President to name the sponsors and prosecute them, accordingly adding that the National Assembly would have otherwise invoked Section 88 of the 1999 Constitution as uh, amended to get to the root of the matter. Uh, the section reads, uh, which is 88 uh, brackets 1, uh, says, subject to the provisions of this constitution, each house of the National Assembly shall have power by resolution uh, published in its journal or in the official gazette of the uh, government of the Federation to direct or cause to be directed investigation into any matter or thing with respect to which it has power to make laws and uh, uh, the conduct of affairs of any person, authority, ministry or government a department charged or intended to be charged with the duty of or responsibility for executing administering laws enacted by National Assembly and disbursing or administering monies appropriated or to be appropriated by the National Assembly. Uh, the powers conferred on the National Assembly under the provisions of this section are exercisable only for the purpose of enabling it to make laws with respect to any matter within its legislative uh, uh, competence and current 
and correct any defect uh, in existing law. Uh, well, uh, the execution or administration of laws within its uh, legislative competence and in the disbursement or administration of funds appropriately by it therein. Okay. I uh, hope you guys have listened to uh, what uh, uh, the lawmakers uh, have said, you know, telling Buhari and putting it to his face that since he has read it in the speech uh, uh, during the independence speech come uh, 20, 21, uh, 61 years anniversary or independence day of Nigeria. Uh, this said uh, since Buhari has, you know, laid that comment, mm, it's an insult you know, on, on, the, uh, on them, you know, being uh, lawmakers. That who among them, uh, as uh, a lawmaker, uh, as a senator, as a legislative body that is sponsoring these uh, co uh, so called agitators, I could remember or I could uh, even overheard uh, one uh, the lawmaker that was even uh, quoting the constitution says, uh, Who amongst us uh, is sponsoring terrorists? to have been the question and that was asked uh, of him when he was called uh, from abroad, according to what uh, he said that uh, Buhari has accused used the uh, uh, lawmakers sponsoring in Amdekano, Sunday Igbowo, and National Assembly, and also uh, they uh, are all suspects. Mm. Uh, because Buhari had in his speech uh, during the, the, the first uh, Independence Day anniversary of Nigeria, said the government had identified sponsors of the secessionist group and uh, their leaders. <laughs> well, it says, well, which I'm going to you know, bring back to your hearing, uh, the members of the House of Representatives have asked President Mamadou Buhari to name and prosecute the lawmaker uh, identified as the sponsor of agitators. Namikano and Sunday at the MO Igbo in the country uh, but notwithstanding if Buhari uh, himself has come out and read in this and in, uh, in the independent speech uh, maybe that's just the only thing uh, uh, they wanted him to read because I believe what I said and why is not reading it from his own volition because he's supposed to you know touch all the things that is happening in Nigeria uh, Sunday Bo and Namdekano are not the problem of Nigeria uh, rather the uh, the insurgency you know disturbing the north eastern part of countries northwest or north in general is what is disturbing nigeria and i believe uh, it has, uh, has subsided or destroyed uh, the northern economy because i believe the southern economy is still you know you know flourishing and that's why governor wiki and the uh, Lagos State Governor, Babajide uh, Sonwolu, deem it fit you know, to pass into law the uh, VAT, which is the Value Added Tax uh, Bill, you know, that the uh, Federal Inland Revenue Service uh, wouldn't, you know, collect, you know, the VAT any longer. It is the uh, State uh, Inland Revenue, either uh, the Lagos Inland Revenue, that will be collecting its VAT by itself and distribute to whoever they want to distribute it. So why am I saying this? It's just because uh, the northern part of the country, they have been sleeping, you know, concerning this in insurgency just because they are you know, uh, uh, they, 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 they are benefiting from the fact that is coming from southern uh, Nigeria. And Buhari has not even, you know, deemed fit, you know, to either, you know, name those that are sponsoring uh, this so-called banditry and terrorism in the country that is causing so many havoc and, you know, uh, destabilizing the economy in the northern part of the country. So, as it is, yes, if Buhari definitely deemed fit and mentioned the names of those that are sponsoring Igbo, uh, and Namdekano, if truly they are alive or they are available or they, or if truly his insinuation or assertion is uh, true, uh, definitely Buhari also should also mention the names of those that are sponsoring the Boko Haram, uh, the headsmen and the, the Fulani headsmen, the killer Fulani headsmen, the kidnappers and the bandits also should be exposed. So that's the bit. So as it is, I'm going to give you the headline again so that you could, you know, uh, comment in the session uh, uh, so that uh, you can know what you can, you know, your views and your comment is going to be. Say, name and prosecute lawmakers sponsoring in Namdekano, uh, Igbo, National Assembly, DS uh, Buhari.